I was uh, walking over the bridge there when Monty told me I had to say something. <laughs> so uh, this is very unprepared. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, looking at what's happened here, you know, having the training of a hundred young guys wearing wearing these uniforms, the way that the city supported it, uh, and looking at the crowd and so many people carrying, you know, photos of their of their ancestors and things. You know, I think I think that Gisborne's probably the only city in the world that could actually pull pull this off. I mean, seriously, seriously. Yeah. I mean, when Monty asked me if we could do a hundred uniforms, my first response was, only a hundred? <laughs> and um, I did actually just mention to him that I think, I think in, in all of our boxes and crates, I think we've got, we've got, to, we've got about a thousand uniforms. So, um, so this is just a, this is a, this is a little taster and I've thrown down the gauntlet to Monty. Um, but we might need a bit of help from, from the army. To, uh, <laughs> Um, but certainly, it's, um, it, it's, it's an incredibly emotional sight. Um, I mean, one of the things that Monty didn't say in his account of Gallipoli in the 6th of August is that attack with where the Maori and the, um, the, the mounted rifles, they, they, that, that was an incredibly successful attack. I mean, it, it achieved everything it was supposed to achieve, which in Gallipoli terms was, didn't really happen very often. And um, the Australian historian that was there, there was an Australian official historian that was at Gallipoli the whole time, um, a guy called Charles Bean, who wrote books afterwards. And there's, there's a fantastic radio interview conducted in, I think, about the 1950s. So Charles Bean is an old man. And there's, there's an Australian radio interview. And the Australian guy says, uh, so he says, uh, he says, uh, you must have seen some brave things at Gallipoli, some brave feats. What, what's the bravest thing you ever saw? And Charles Bean says that was the uh, when the New Zealand mounteds and the Maoris attack foothills. And the Australian guy says, uh, what? what? <laughs> and, the, and then Charles Bean goes on to describe how he thought it was the greatest feat of arms that he witnessed. He goes on and on and on. The Australian guy says, uh, well, was there anything brave the Australians did that you saw? <laughs> he sort of cut, cuts him off. <laughs> It was very, very funny, and, they, and so the, the Maoris and the mountains went ahead. Um, they, they had to clear the Turks out of the hills because the idea was to capture the top of the hill, which was not their job. The New Zealand army was behind them, um, but they wanted a clear run up to the top. So the mountains and, and the Maoris had to do the hard work in the dark, as uh, as, as Monty, Monty says, with no other bullets and the guns, and they, and they had to do it in complete silence because you know there's Turks all the way up the hill. Of course, the first attack, the first trench that they that they um, that they uh, that they capture, the Maori guys do do a haka, which is and the British officers are going, oh God, shut up! <laughs> and then every trench that they that they capture, haka, 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 and, and the haka will run. So it was the it was it was the most unsilent attack with anyone. Hang on, <laughs> but but com but completely successful. And when the when the New Zealand infantry. Uh, made made their climb up the hill, you know, which were now which was now free of Turks. They came across a, a, a Maori bloke, you know, halfway up the hill, sort of a rather over, overweight soldier, sitting there with sweat running down his eye, his uh, face. And he says, "Well, these these Turkish buggers, God, they run fast, because <laughs> they literally had just driven the Turks away and up, and in, in the fairly and fairly brutal uh, brutal combat, but the Turks just fled a bit eventually." Probably, probably the Harker would have, would have helped. Um, but anyway, I just want to thank everybody as Molly did that supported this and the training and thank the, the guys. And that, that um, him, him was fantastic. As, a, as someone who's read a lot about Gallipoli, that, and I've read about them do, doing it him, but I've never ever heard it. So this was, um, this was, this was worth, worth the, the entire thing for, uh, for me just to hear, hear that him. So this is the, this, it's fantastic. So thank you so much for all your support, guys. Thank you for all the, all the hard work. I, I, are, they, are they still scratchy, the uniforms? <laughs> <laughs> the boots still sore? <laughs> and thank you all for, all for turning out and, um, and, um, and supporting this in the way that you have. And um, thank you, Monty, for, for inviting me. Thank you very much. Thank you.